the concept of Chinese medicine, it's actually very, very, very similar to a lot of concepts that exist today in, uh, like you can look at it like a quantum view, what they call the standard model. And, and we'll talk a, a lot about these various things because in terms of like energy systems of Chinese medicine, it's like, it's something that's observed and, and it's something that's dealt with and something that could even be constructed mathematically in terms of a system like physics, for sure. But when we're talking about physics, it's even, even the average person <laughs> wouldn't be so clear as to what energies even are, so I started to explain that. So I'm going to talk about these things at length. It just worked, it just came out that way. It wasn't even a topic. But since Bhatia liked it a lot, she said, you must talk about quantum mechanics. <laughs> so it was center. So since I'll be I very happy it, to. I love it too. <laughs> so I'll be very happy to explain quantum mechanics. But the idea is, and I'm sure you didn't come here for a physics class, even though I'll be very happy to give you an uh, introductory physics class, uh, you know, if you want to go in that direction, is fine. But to, the whole concept of energies is something that's discussed in many, many, many contexts. And a lot of people have trouble with Chinese medicine concepts like qi, well, what is that? That's some weird energy in the body that Chinese people talk about. Meanwhile, people that are talking about chemistry are talking about some other energy. People that are talking about physics are talking about some other energy. And what about astronomers that are talking about other energies? Well, guess what? <laughs> energies, 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 kinetic energy, and it's something that's very well known. However, when we get into it, and momentarily we are, we're going to find out that the, all the concepts that modern physics, modern chemistry, modern astronomy are based on are not any more established than concepts like chi, energy, and I'm going to talk to you a lot about it. I mean, there's dark matter, there's dark energies, there are Higgs uh, bosons. And there are many, many things that are based on mathematics and are used in formulas that a lot of our modern day uh, even products are based on that have never even been proved. They've never found Higgs bosons. They just built a 17 mile uh, long hadron collider in Lucerne, Geneva to try to find them. They still haven't found them yet. So I'm saying that there's a lot of open area here. And we're going to talk to you about a lot of a lot of it because stuff that interests me personally. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not ashamed or anything, but I learned chemistry like in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> you know, uh, even nursing schools in the 70s. So they weren't. They were teaching then the Bohr model, not to be boring or anything. We're talking about Neil, <laughs> Niels Bohr. But that method where the electrons are simply going around in orbit like planets is like completely refuted. And if you learn high school chemistry nowadays, the first class is quantum mechanics because <laughs> it all works that way. So I'll be very happy to explain to you quantum mechanics. I'm not going to bore you with uh, Schrodinger's uh, formulas and uh, all of the rest of it. It's unbelievably fantastic uh, history <laughs> information if you want to learn about it. You can, you can always remember who, in, who discovered the atom, I'm sorry, the electron was, if you've ever read Tintin, anybody ever read Tintin? I read them. So there, remember those two detectives, Thompson and Thompson? So <laughs> that's who discovered. Yeah, uh, as a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> because J.J. Thompson <laughs> discovered the electron and he said it was a particle. Well, his son, E.G. Thompson, mm -hmm proves that it, in fact, also is a wave. So, <laughs> so there's a lot to talk about all these fascinating topics, but what does it have to do with Chinese medicine? Actually, a lot, because when you get to the atomic level, that's when you really start to understand what's happening with concepts like not just qi, yin, yang, the different relationships of energy and uh, attractions and uh, repulsions that are part of our physical world. So there isn't a Chinese energy, and then there's a European energy, and an American energy. Energy is just plain energy. And it in exists within the body, exists in uh, all over the place, and uh, it has everything to do with qi, it has everything to, to do with yin and yang, etc. I'm just interested in all kinds of different things. So 